Hello YouTube and Facebook friends, Ember Tilton here. I'm going to show you how you can host your own website from your own home PC, Mac, or uh, Linux computer uh, without the need for a uh, host service or an external computer. First we're going to um, go to Google and we're going to type in xamp.com or xamp and we're going to uh, uh, search for that um, xamp and then we're going to go um, to the download page and you're going to select uh, the proper uh, uh, download that you want. Jeez, I guess they're all 32-bit. I guess that doesn't matter. Just get the newest one, whatever one that is, um, and go ahead and download that. Um, and I'm going to download it to my uh, downloads folder here, um, where I already have it actually. Uh, so downloads, and you'll see that. Um, right here, uh, XAMP. And this is where the magic starts. Uh, this is the program that's going to get you uh, Apache uh, running on your local device so that you can host a website that will be available publicly. Um, and so I don't need that anymore. Um, here we go. And this is the only part that I really need to show you. You can unselect um, everything here except um, the Apache server which is what you need and my SQL I have no idea what that means um, and then we're gonna go forward also do not try to put it in your programs files which maybe um, you would be inclined to do like I was that creates a problem because the path names will include spaces there's a space between the word program and files and if you use the x86 folder there's also another space there don't use that go ahead and put it right in your C drive that's where it wants to be um, that's where it'll work work best um, X -M. and so you'd go ahead and do that I've already done it so um, I'm not going to uh, do it again uh, then you would have um, in my computer you would go here and you would see your XAM folder um, and this is uh, where you would uh, start start XAM not like that though uh, where we, which one would you do this one yeah there it is um, so the first thing you want to do is um, change your config that's your apache httpd.config file um, and you'd go here in this file you'll see um, where it says 80 oh geez there's a whole bunch of stuff um, and that's a port number so you want to type in 80 uh, control f to pull up the find Oops, what happened i must have missed it um, here f 80 Oh geez. Config. Oh, maybe I already configured this one. Um, five, two, one. Yep, there I did. Okay, so that's that's what's going on here. Um, by default, it would be port eighty. Um, this is the port after um, the IP address. Again, here this would be eighty. You want to change it to eight five two one. I don't know why, that's what uh, the tutorial I watched told me to do. Um, so 8521, and that'll come up a couple other times. Um, and you want to change them all, there should be three places. So once you've changed that, um, you're good to go with the config, we can put that away for now. Then you're going to want to log in to your, um, uh, to your router, and to get that, I'll just show you this real quick because... Um, some people don't know how to do it, but to get that, you're going to want to go to your command prompt. Um, some people might get there by going here. Um, that's your uh, run tool. Um, you can also go here um, and type in CMD. Um, that's how you pull up a command prompt. Uh, there's a lot of other ways to do it. Um, I just have a shortcut in a folder called system on my desktop. Uh, but CMD, command prompt, any of those is going to work. You're going to get there and you're going to type in IP config. And that's just going to show your um, internet protocol config configurations. So you're going to want to check out your IPv4 address. This is your um, uh, computer address and your gateway address. And so you're going to take that gateway address, that 192. 
168.1.1 and yes that will likely be yours as well you're going to want to type that in right here um, in your web browser and this will work on Chrome um, this will work on Firefox and Safari um, and this will bring you to your router and if your router um, isn't really ancient um, it will have uh, a user interface like this uh, this is a, a Link Systems um, a Linksys uh, router uh, it looks like this. Netgear might require a different type of login with logmein.net or something uh, with a, a web address, but most routers log in um, with your IP address like this. So now we're in the user interface. We went to security and we're going to go to apps and gaming. We're going to open uh, ports so that people can come and look at your computer from the outside and you're saying, Ember, no, that's scary. The hackers will get into my computer. That's that's not good at all. Well, this is the trick. We're only going to open one port. This is going to create an opening in your firewall that will only allow them in through the XAMPP um, program into the folder, the one folder that we're going to give access to. And we're going to do that um, by adding this number again, 8521, 8521. Um, and you're going to choose your security protocol, TCP. And then you're going to use your computer, your device IP. So this will keep them from getting into any other port except for 8521 on device um, 108. And now you can see back here, um, this is my uh, internet uh, uh, or the local uh, device uh, internet address. At, a network address, I guess is what I should call it, an IPv4 address. That's for this computer. Um, I actually have two. I also have this one, which is just my other wireless router. So it's two ways to get into this computer. I'm only using one. People only need to get in through one. So I'm using 108. Um, once you've done that, you can hit apply. And now you've opened, uh, you've forwarded that port. You have port forwarding going on. So uh, people can make contact through that port and through um, to that device. And so, um, whoop, there's the website I made. So the next thing we're going to do uh, now um, is we're going to, um, we've downloaded that. We're going to go to XAMPP, the folder here, and we're going to go to the folder called htdocs here. Um, there is There is a PHP file in there called index that will redirect you by default to a folder called dashboard. Um, and so uh, this is uh, this, and so this was the folder name that said dashboard. And so by default, this is what the um, IP index will look like. Uh, this program is a great program uh, called notepad plus plus I encourage you to get it you can use your default Windows uh, notepad program as well but notepad plus plus um, has a lot of interesting features you can go to um, Google and just search for notepad plus plus um, go to their home this is open source software um, that's free to use it's great for writing script um, and for opening um, a lot of files that uh, you probably couldn't open with other uh, with other programs so you want to go ahead and download um, whatever uh, the newest version of that is and that should work great on your computer um, and so let's go back to this htdocs file so that's going to send us to um, dashboard but we don't want to go to dashboard anymore let's uh, let's create a new one we're going to call this new well, well we'll just call it new okay so that's our new folder um, usually use lower class lower case don't um, uppercase I don't know why it's just we don't do that um, so notepad plus plus again and we're going to write new and we're going to well let's go to dashboard first actually just show you what happens and this is how you know um, everything is working right so we're gonna go here um, and then we're going to go back to our web browser and we're going to type in um, our IP address but wait a minute we don't know what our IP address is. So we're going to have to type that in. My IP. Oh, there it is. That's my IP address. Wow, look at that. So now we know the IP address. And now this will work on somebody else's computer too. 
um, you can um, dial it in that way. Now that's going to be a problem because that's just going to send you to your computer um, and you're already local so that's not really a big uh, feat right there. So we're going to need to type in that port and now anybody can type this in to get to my computer and they're going to see the dashboard and this is the dashboard. It tells you that we're here um, and this would be, you could check this by looking at your mobile device and entering um, this portion of the IP address in and you know, get off of your Wi-Fi so you're using your mobile, um, your mobile network, and that way you'll know that you're live. Um, and so, um, uh -oh. I hope everything's okay. So anyway. Now that we have the IP address, uh, we can log in. That's dashboard. Let's um, go back to this folder and see what else we can do. Let's go to this new, and we're going to go um, new uh, text document, and we're going to call this index.html, and then we're going to open it with Notepad++, and we're going to type in um, hello world, and we're going to save and we're going to close that. Um, oh, wait a minute. We want to save it as an HTML document though. Um, so we're going to go to HTML. Where is H? There it is. And that stands for Hypertext Markup Language in case you didn't know. Uh, and so now we're going to go back. We can delete the text document. And there's um, our new website. That's an HTML document we just created with Notepad++. You can also create them in Word um, and, and even in Notepad, but Notepad++ um, provides uh, some nice color distinctions and um, it allows you to open different files uh, that you know, it gives you a lot more uh, uh, flexibility than uh, just regular Notepad. So we have that up. Um, we're going to go back to our web browser here and let's type in new, and that's the folder we're going to look at, index.html, and then hello world. I don't know if you can see that, so we'll make it bigger for you. Hello world. And so that is live right now. You can see that from anywhere in the world by typing in um, this address. And we did this all on a home PC uh, that's connected to the Internet. This didn't require anybody else's help. Now we have a website, but you're saying, Ember, that's not uh, an email address. That's more like a uh, phone number or something. That's an IP address. That's not fun. We're sorry. Due to telephone company facility trouble, you're... It sounds old school and broken. We don't want that. We want a domain name like reallycool.com or something. So what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to go to oneandone.com uh, here, and we're going to buy a website for $99 a month. Wait a minute. Domain name only. Oh, that's for the whole website. Yeah, just the domain name. Oh, wait, I'm not even at the right thing. Sorry, I already, I already went in. So we're going to check to see if Ember Tilton is available. So we're going to check that, right? one and one onecom domain names. Uh, we're checking. Oh, look at that. I can buy it. And how much is it? It's 99 cents for a year. 99 cents for a year. And then just $14.99 a year after that. Well, I'm going to have to buy this pretty soon. EmberTilton.com is going to be up. Um, I'll show this video on it. And I don't know what else I'm going to do after that. But um, for 99 cents, 99 cents. And I have a website for a year that's being broadcast from my computer. And I didn't need help from Amazon Web Services. I didn't need to go to GoDaddy or any of that nonsense. Um, you know, this may not be the kind of uh, website you could get massive traffic on. It would uh, it would overload. You'd end up, you know, with too much. All operators are busy at this time. You know, Please hold. Of that kind of thing. Um, We're sorry. All circuits are busy. Please yeah. try again later. If you had a whole bunch of traffic, but if it's just a few people visiting there, if it's uh, something for your friends and family, even if you had a few hundred visitors if, uh, at a time, it would probably be just fine. You wouldn't have to... Um, go to something, uh, uh, you know, in the cloud, whatnot. You could have a local um, host server. And so uh, I want to show you what I've done. Uh, we're going to go back to the folder. Uh, we're going to go back here. 
Uh, I'm going to delete that because I don't need it anymore. Um, yeah, and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to show you what I made. I made um, public HTML uh, and then I'm going to save that. And then so this, this took me all of about 15 minutes. No. And, and that's a website. Um, it only took me a few minutes to make. I built it on web uh, uh, notebook plus plus. Um, I used Xamp as the host. Uh, well, from my PC as a host, um, Xamp is the utility. Oh, and of course, to make it go, you do have to press start. Um, that's right. Once you've uh, done the config um, and you've made sure to change um, the port in your router and in the config file, um, you'll be live. Um, and so you can also see this at localhost with the same um, port number, um, but you can also see it live um, with the IP address, which oh, I forget what that was, six something, six, uh, geez, what was my IP address? Yeah, that one, um, control C, so. and you can see that from anywhere in the world. And then if you want to buy that domain name, you can buy that domain domain name from oneandone.com. Again, that's uh, only 99 cents a year. So I haven't bought it yet. I'll have it soon. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope uh, if you are working on a project like this, this helps. Um, and uh, good luck and have fun.